Hey baddies, what is up? It is me, Joshi, and welcome back to my channel! And if you're new here, hi, welcome, welcome, welcome! And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being a baddie! I bet you already guys know what the video is going to be. If you guys don't know, I got my passport renewed, and oh my god! To be honest, I did not expect that I would eat, I would devour, I would serve! I was like, I didn't expect it. 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 I passport. So happy that you guys like my makeup look there. Some of you are asking to do a tutorial, and now we are going to do one. I didn't expect it. I look stunning in my freaking passport. Like, bitch, who is she? By the way, I have four takes on the shoot. I'm going to ask my mom. Okay, I'm going to ask my mom. Okay. Isa pa po kuya. In fair, pumayag naman siya. Mabait naman siya. So, in fair, sulit naman yung four takes natin. <laughs> Bawing-bawi naman yung itsura ko sa passport ko noong 2016. Like, girl, mukha akong inape. If you guys don't know, I tried to look for some poses nung time na yun, noong 2016. I tried to look for some model S poses. Yung pa yung time na medyo hindi pa ako out, hindi pa ako that bitch, hindi pa ako gay nun. Tinaray ko maging fierce to be one of those models, you know what I mean? And turns out, girl, mukha akong maasim na po <laughs> Ayun yung kinilabasan, pilingera kasi. So ito na nga, nirenew na namin yung passport ko. Girl, she served! Ang <laughs> ganda na kinilabasan. She said, My, my name. name. My name is Bella Hadid. My name is Bella Hadid. <laughs> Hello, 10 years din to. Gaganda ako na yung itsura ko dito sa passport na to. So basically, the makeup look that I'm going to show you guys is how I normally do my makeup pag may events ako or a night out with the girls. Or parang gusto ko na magpaganda. Gusto ko na magpa-fresh. Pinagsama-sama na natin siya. And then, ito na rin yung look ko na ginawa ko sa passport ko. All in one na itong gagawin natin. So yeah, before we head on to the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel because it really, really helps. You wanna know how I achieve this look from looking like this to this? You better keep on watching. Okay, first, let's remove the excess shine from the moisturizer, sunblock on my face. After that, we can now color correct using the Easy & Co. Peach Corrector. I apply this on the gray areas of my face, like my under eyes, my beard area to cancel out the gray areas. I normally use my fingers to blend the peach corrector on my face. This is optional, but I use my mixing palette to mix my foundation. Speaking of foundation, I use the Maybelline Fit Me 322 and 228. I get one full pump of the 228 and two full pumps of the 322. Then I just mix it all together. Then I take my makeup sponge, get a small amount of product there. Then I just lightly tap it on the mixing plate to diffuse the foundation. The reason why I diffuse the foundation so that we can get the my skin but better look, you know what I mean? I learned that from all the makeup artists that I work with. Now that she's all blended, we can now move on to concealer. I'm using the Radiance Tint 21N Almond from Get Ready With Me Cosmetics. Normally apply this on my under eyes, my acne marks, my pimples, and a few under my nose and on my beard area as well. Then I just blend it with my fingers and sometimes if I'm not satisfied with the blending technique that I did, I use a makeup sponge to blend it more, you know what I mean? Come on skin, the skin is skinning. After that, I set my whole face with the Studio Fix Powder Plus in NW35 from MAC Cosmetics. I use a setting brush from Real Techniques to set my face. Apply this all over my face, especially on my T-zone or the areas that I get very, very oily. After that, I bake my face with the All Day No Sebum Blur Powder Natural from Dr. Sensitive. I use a makeup sponge to apply the loose powder on my face and yes, I still bake because I'm an oily girl. Now for the brows, we use the Curl Fix Mascara from Etwood House. I love this mascara so much because she shapes my brows like however I want it. I'm using the backstroke technique to like coat every hair 
on my brows i love how this mascara makes my brows stand all day long like i swear you're not gonna regret it i normally make the end of my brows a little pointy if you know what I mean. and after that i use the strokes brow colorist duo in cold black to make the inner part of my brows a little you know thicker and i fill in the sparse part of my brows with the strokes microblade in bronze side so we can get that fuller brows super love this microblade pen from strokes beauty because she's giving that hair like strokes Now she's all done, we can now move on to the best part, which is the bronzing part. We're gonna use the cream contour stick in cinnamon from Strokes Beauty. You can tell how excited I am because I'm literally obsessed with bronzing. We're gonna use the Endless G Buff and Blend Foundation Brush from Vice Cosmetics to apply the bronzer on my cheeks. I normally tap it in a circular motion on my cheeks to blend it. And when I'm satisfied, I just move on to the other side of my cheek. By the way, she really smells like cinnamon. I just do the same blending motion on the other side of my cheek. Then I just dust off the setting powder. I'm also applying it on my eyelids to get that defined eyes, you know what I mean? I'm also applying it on my jawline. To set our cream bronzer, we're gonna use the Quad Goals Bronzer Palette from Get Ready With Me Cosmetics. We're gonna use these two shades. I forgot where I got this brush, but we're gonna use it to apply it on my cheeks in a circular motion again. Girl, look how bronze for the gods she is. Like, ah, I am obsessed. Also applying bronzer on my forehead so we can get that snatched forehead. I'm gonna use an eyeshadow brush to apply bronzer on our eyelids as well so she will be like extra defined, extra snatched. When I'm feeling a little extra, I apply the bronzer on my lower lash to get that very Korean-esque, you know what I mean? Next is that we're gonna curl our lashes. I know my curling technique looks kind of scary, but you'll get used to it. For the lash mascara, I'm just gonna use the same mascara that I use for my brows. And look how wispy she is. Ah. Ugh, she's a woman. And for the setting spray, we're just gonna use my mattifying setting spray from Nichido. I love this shit so and for much. For my lips, we're gonna use the Juicy Dew Tint in Cool Lychee from Choo Choo Beauty. I love this so much. She makes my lips look better. By the way, baddies, here is the final look. Okay, so this is basically the finished look. Girl, I look so fucking snatched. She looks like a fucking... She be serving up to the DFA. She be like serving face to immigration. Her like ah, I love bronzer so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial on how I achieve my passport look and my everyday look basically. As in pa fresh lang talaga tayo. Super dali lang, super affordable pa ibang products. So you better slay pa nagparenew ka or pa kumuha ka ng passport mo. Obviously pa hindi naman mag makeup sa pagrenew or pa kuha ng passport. Wag lang glam makeup. Up, okay like bending for fresh fresh luck anyway i will see you guys on my next video i love your body so 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 much bye pieces juices period shit i look so fucking cunt like